and welcome to this week's Productivity Enhancer. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2013 and that's the bounding box. The bounding box is hidden under the weldments tab. The reason for this is that it was designed mostly with stock welded parts in mind. Uh, it's a great way to find the exact size I-beam or steel tubing you need for your design. However, it's a great tool for ordering material as well. This new bounding box gives you the opportunity to see exactly how much material you need to start with before you cut the part. It does this by creating a box that's constrained by how far individual features of the part stretch out into space. So you're left with the stock size of the part which will save you money and time by knowing the smallest amount of material you can get away with when you're cutting that part. Instead of using the standard measuring tools by using the bounding box, we get that data quick and easy. So to activate the bounding box, first of all we need to create a weldment. By doing that, we have a weldment show up in our Feature Manager design tree, and we also have a cut list. The next thing we need to do is right-click on the cut list and update it. Now, once we expand that, you'll see that we have folders with cut lists, and we have three separate folders here. And what the cut list is, is once we update that cut list, SOLIDWORKS analyzes and finds all the same sized parts and puts them in the cut list. So in this one part, we have three features that are not the same size. So once that cut list has been updated, we can go ahead and right click on any of these and then we can create that bounding box. The bounding box shows up here and we can show it. And what it is, is it's a three dimensional sketch. And if we zoom in here and take a look, and you can see that that bounding box is constrained by the outer edge of that part. So let's create another one. Let's grab our isometric view again. And this time let's create a bounding box on this part. Once we hit show, you can see that that box is bounding that part in the smallest possible configuration. However, what if you want the bounding box to be aligned to this edge here? Well, that's no problem. We can just right click on that cut list item and edit that bounding box. So for our reference face, we can choose any face that we want as long as it's planner. So go ahead and see how that switches. And now that's the smallest possible space that this part can fit in if it's oriented in that direction. And again, it's as easy as just choosing a different face and that box automatically orients itself to the face you choose. If we go up, right click on the bounding box. Now we can change the color to make it a little more visible. Let's try a red and there you can see it shows up a little better. And that's just by changing the sketch color. We can also add a reference dimension now that we have that 3D sketch. So we click reference dimension and that's how we can get the exact size of that box. So you can see that that box is 205.07 millimeters by 33 millimeters by 115.26 millimeters. It's a quick and easy way to get those figures for that stock size. Now, if we go ahead and decide that this part needs to be added onto, we can just sketch on that face. Maybe just draw a rectangle and extrude it up. How about 60 millimeters? Merge the results and hit OK. And by doing that, we get a warning saying the 3D bounding box may be out of sync with the model. To ensure an accurate drawing cut list, they need to be updated. Update them now? Yes. And by doing that, that bounding box is now updated to that new feature sticking up in the air. And once we hit rebuild, those dimensions will update. So it may seem like a pretty simple update, but the bounding box definitely has its purposes. So the next time you get a chance, go ahead and play around with the bounding box and see if you can come up with a different way to use it. It's a neat tool and one I hope you'll check out. So thanks for watching this week's Productivity Enhancer. Until next time.